exposed is a there's actually a can of sugar water in the middle. There's some sugar water then, for them, and the queen is here. She's in her little cage, and we'll we'll give you the cage after. Um, are those the Italian bees? They're Italian honeybees. Yeah. I'm gonna go get a different veil. This so one's not so comfortable for me. Pretty soaked in sugar water, so they're on sugar high probably. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and how do you get them in the, uh... Well, we basically just pull them. We just turn oh, them really? Down. Yeah. Wild. <laughs> they stay around the queen. The queen is <laughs> hanging from the middle and the top, and that's why you see them up on the top. Oh, yeah. The so, are, is, are the hives empty now for, from the winter? All except for the one on the left that has a white box on top. Okay. The, the red one with the white box. Okay, so, and you're just going to dump them in? Yeah, basically, yeah. Okay, and then well, we first hang what we're going to do is take the queen out, and when we put the queen, we hang her in the hive, and then we dump the bees over so that they could smell her pheromone and they get used to their queen so that they return back to their hive. And how long does it take them to get used to her before you let them, like, go? Well, how? the reason that she's in a cage is there's a sugar cork there, so she has some female attendants in there, so we put the... The, well, yeah. the bees are going to fly out. No, no, no. no, no, no. Yeah. Get a couple of bees. But you could see the queen in there. She's she's blue. She's supposed to be white. She's marked with a blue dot. You can oh, see yeah, the blue yeah, dot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So blue means last year she was born. That's this queen, Nick. My this queen is Who's marked gone? with a blue dot. Isn't it white this year? Or you don't know? So you can see she's got a couple of attendants in there, the females, and this big wad of white thing where my finger is is sugar. So when we put this in there, what's going to happen is, is the female attendants are going to slowly take about a week to eat the sugar, and then the, the rest of the colony that will be in the hive will take also their time and they will eat the cork from the outside. So the queen gets a slow release and that over that week that they take the time to eat the sugar cork to release the queen, they're getting used to her pheromone. That's the reason why we don't put the queen directly in the hive. We make sure that she's sort of captive for a week and um, they take that, is it a bee? Oh great, if it's a bee just move slow. Tick? Fling it over here. Is it tick? Yeah. Oh, there's ticks everywhere. You guys just really be careful. <laughs> so the reason that she stays in the cage for the week is she gets a slow release so that they, is it still there? Take my hive tool out of my back pocket and scrape it off. So it's just so she gets a slow release. You don't want her to fly away too quickly so they spend a week, did you get it? Yeah. So they spend a week releasing her and during that week, they're all getting used to her pheromone. Okay, it's hot out. So I think there's a bee by your camera. There we are. That's all right. Okay. You know, when they come around and they're curious, just move slow. If, if they really annoy you, you just kind of walk away. They can't see slow movements as well as fast movements. So you do all the swatting, you aggravate them. But if you move slowly, just walk away. It's the best thing. So you can also see, see, these are females, and they're like dancing around the queen because they're gathering her pheromone. They stick together. They stick with the queen. I don't know if you saw the little dot on her back. I didn't. Let me see. There's a blue. You'll see. Do they? Does she come with that, or? Yeah, they mark it so that you can find your queen because it's really important to be to know. See the blue? Oh yeah, yeah. I want to see how big she is, but I can't. She's see. really. She's big. She's really long. Here, yeah. When does she lay eggs? So what will happen is, is after the week, they'll release her, and uh, she'll begin laying eggs pretty pretty quickly. She's already a mated queen, meaning she's already been mated with drones. So she'll immediately, once she's released within a week, you'll start seeing eggs. And I mean, see, they just fly around. They're really gentle. They don't, they're just curious. So this is the queen house. Mm -hmm. This is how the queen... Travels. In, she she travels in style that. <laughs> with her little, she's got her little female attendants in there. You know, they feed and they groom her. So, you as know, it be for them. as it should be. But then when she's released, she begins laying eggs. She does like 2,000 eggs a day. 
and that's not so much fun, I'm sure. <laughs> but she doesn't complain. She does her job. She's a busy bee. She looks healthy. They look nice and shiny and. Marina, happy. how does a queen become a queen? <coughs> the, well, they can, they have the ability of taking any egg that's less than three days old. That's a fertilized egg because the fertilized ones are female. The unfertilized ones become male. So they have the the workers have the option of feeding that three day old egg royal jelly until it becomes a larva and a pupa and they can choose which egg they want to make a queen but this colony will have a queen so it'll be fine but for some reason if the colony is detecting that the queen's not productive what they will do is they will ball her and they will kill her and they will create another queen as long as there's eggs in the hive that are no more than three days old and what we're going to do is that other hive up there that's really busy that hive is booming. We're going to split it. So what we're going to do is it has one queen and it has one colony. What we're going to do is we're going to look for frames with eggs in it and we're going to take like two or three frames, put it in an empty hive with some worker bees and hope that they'll take one of those eggs and create their own queen. So we'll split one colony into two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it, it usually works. It's the right time of the year to do that. So we're going to pour our first package of bees.